Well, it seems like the uh, Talmudic Jewish lobby and their continued ongoing campaign and attack on free speech and any kind of freedom and liberty oriented society, because these guys just hate freedom of speech and they hate the idea of actually being able to criticize their uh, I the ideology of the Talmudic Jewish lobby, I'll put it that way. But uh, this is uh, essentially they're pushing this manifesto against free speech over in the UK. This is on the Jewish Chronicle says Board of Deputies and JLC published regional manifestos, separate documents for London, Scotland, and Wales ahead of May elections after consultation with local rep councils. Let's see what this uh, Talmudic Jewish uh, manifesto is. They're, essentially, I just call it their manifesto against free expression and overall liberty. But it says uh, here on the article, the Board of Deputies and JLC have published three separate Jewish manifestos for London, Scotland, and Wales ahead of the forthcoming elections in May. The detailed manifesto set out a series of issues affecting Jews in each of their local communities. Some of the recommendations to uh, which it is hoped that individual candidates will sign up are matched in each manifesto. Uh, each, oh, sorry, while others are more specific with individual policy asks relevant to the particular community, uh, board President Mary Van Der Zoll, I guess I said, said, cool, as our society recovers from the pandemic, these manifestos provide a roadmap to elected representatives on how they can serve their Jewish uh, cons constituents. Following recommendations, following the recommendations will help ensure that the local Jewish community is supported and valued. That's what she was uh, saying in that little quote of hers. And how they're going to plan on doing this is essentially just continuing their campaign against free speech because we're going to see this manifesto is totally antithetical to how a freedom and liberty oriented society functions with regards to expression and freedom of freedom of expression and speech i'll put it that way it says here the jewish manifesto for london has been drafted by the london jewish forum the board of deputies and the jewish leadership council the community's policy priorities are summarized in the manifesto's 10 commitments uh, it says like the candidates are being asked to support, which include implementation of international Holo of the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance's working definition of anti-Semitism, ensuring faith and culturally sen sensitive provision of public services, and opposition to boycotts of Israel. Uh, what what's wrong? With, I mean, I need to point this out. Okay, I support Israel. Uh, racial Israel's right to be physically in that land, but I can I, I criticize stuff that Israel does as their Jesuit-ran government essentially their jesuit ran government and i like how they're saying bo opposition to the boycotts of israel why w what's wrong with boycotting you know something about a foreign nation huh well, i mean why are they so obsessed with trying to push for support of a foreign nation see the when it comes to national interests okay the Talmudic jewish lobby had uh essentially is loyal to israel over their host nation i'll put it that way and like I said, I support the, the racial Israel, okay? Not the false religion of Talmudic Judaism, but racial Israel's right to be physically in that land, and that's it. But this idea of banning boycotts of Israel, or trying to uh, you know, you know, combat those things, a uh, bit of a problem, you know, because I would criticize, you know, because they even would say a criticism, you know, is just like somehow I'm part of boycotting. It's a bunch of garbage. I could say a whole, whole lot more on that, but don't want to get the uh, YouTube censors after me. But continuing on, it says, uh, Adrian Cohen and Andrew Gilbert, the co-chairs of the London Jewish Forum, said, Last year has been incredibly tough for Londoners, including our Jewish community. This manifesto will give our elected officials a guide to addressing the needs of London's Jewish community as we come out of this pandemic. We very much look forward to working uh, with the next mayor, their team, and the London Assembly to support the Jewish community. Yeah, and how they're going to support them is attacking free expression. It says, uh... Sorry about that. It says in the article, continuing on, among the policy asked, the London Jewish Manifesto detailed concerns about transport routes which affect the Jewish community in the capital, including a renewed plea for the linking of bus routes between Stanford Hill and Golden Screen, and a request to retain bus routes under threat of outlying areas of London, often, rely, often relied on by Jewish school students. In Wales, ahead of the, the Senate elections, the Jewish community has lauded its, its Jewish manifesto in two languages, Welsh and English. It has originally been drafted by the South Wales Jewish Representative Council and Board of Deputies. As with London, the community's policy priorities are summarized in the quote, the hashtag 10 commitments, and it says uh, the, ha the hashtag Y, Derg, whatever, I'm going to bother saying it, Lawrence, 
Kahn, uh, chair of South Wales Jewish Representative Council, said the, uh, the Jewish Manifesto for Wales guides Senate candidates on how they can ensure that Wales community uh, continue, continues to be a great place to be Jewish. We urge them to support it. Yeah, and at the cost of free expression. Okay, continuing on the article, it says the Welsh Jewish Manifesto notes, uh, quote, Jewish communities must not be forced out of the public square by anti-Semitism. And we must recognize that increasingly the public square is online. As part of a wider online anti-online hate strategy, the Welsh government should commit co sorry, commit to combating hate for online anti-Semitism as well. Meanwhile, in Scotland, there are elections pending in uh, Hol Holyrood, I think I say, say it. Uh, there is a Jewish manifesto drafted by the Scottish Council of Jewish Communities, the Glasgow Jewish Representative Council, and the Board of Deputies, and the Jewish Rep uh, Leadership Council. Uh, as with the other two manifestos, the Scottish one asked candidates in elections to support its 10 commitments, again including the implementation of the International Holocaust Remembrance Alliance, definition of anti-Semitism, ensuring culturally sensitive provision of public services, promoting links to Israel, and supporting anti-racist education. Now, again, this is the problem is that you know, this thing of combating online, you know, online so-called hate speech is they would conflate any kind of criticism of their false religion with so-called anti-Semitism, which is such a misused term, it's, it's pretty much lost all meaning. Because they'll just throw that around at anybody who pretty much criticizes something the lobby, the Talmudic Jewish lobby does, or just criticize, like if I were to say the fact that Judaism is a uh, false, you know, antichrist, idol, you know, idol worshipping, essentially, antichrist spirited, you know, Moloch worshipping false religion, uh, that would be, I guess, you know, online hate they want to combat or something like that. It's a bunch of garbage. It's censorship of free speech. Okay, and, and by the way, if you read in Acts chapter 7, they uh, stoned Stephen, the first ever Christian martyr, for rebuking their false religion. So they've had a long history of trying to attack free speech and attack expression they don't like. But just another example of that. So anyway, don't be deceived. Judaism is false. It is of the devil. And, you know, the, the Talmud is a blasphemous, you know, idolatrous piece of trash that deserves no respect. And I make no bones about it. They consider that, you know, online anti-Semitism. You know, which is again such a misused term; it's lost all meaning. Uh, well, I guess so be it. I guess I am by their standards, because their false religion is of the devil, and I make no bones about it. So anyway, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.